This film will look at the ways in which painters of the 19th century broke from the past in their attempts to convey their experience of landscape, and how this inspired a new generation of artists, led by French painter Claude Monet, who would so successfully continue their explorations of nature's first impressions. The 19th century saw a remarkable rise in landscape painting, a shift that is largely tied up with Romanticism. The Romantic movement in the arts came about in reaction to the rationalism of the so-called Enlightenment, which had dominated 18th century thought. In a time of great scientific advancement and exploration of the world, reason came to be valued above all things. But people were beginning to appreciate what price they must pay as individuals. Rigid social structures were set up to protect privilege, and the new materialism had made workers the slaves of machinery and created squalid urban environments. Towards the end of the century, these tensions would lead to revolution. Writers and artists across Europe, but particularly in France and Britain, reflected these concerns in making art that celebrated the individual and sought to re-engage our emotions with the natural world. A loose group of artists settled at this time near Paris in the region of Fontainebleau, where they painted direct views of the forest, its rocky gorges and marshy plains. Jean-Francois Millet, a leading master of what became known as the Barbizon School, painted scenes of rural life that reflected both his sympathy for those who had been impoverished by industrialization and the virtues of their simple life. But painters were responding not only to an increasing alienation from the land, but also to a new spiritual worship of nature that was replacing God in a more secular society, a trend that continues today. William Wordsworth was distraught by social changes that had led to hardship for so many, feelings he expressed in his poem The Solitary Reaper. The poet's long restorative walks in the countryside were a form of spiritual as well as physical exercise. The French philosopher Jean-Jacques Rousseau's Reveries of a Solitary Walker are further evidence of an increasing focus on subjectivity and introspection. Emerging from a long and happy reverie and letting my eyes wander over the picturesque far-off shores which enclosed a vast stretch of clear and crystalline water, I fused my imaginings with these charming sights and finding myself in the end gradually brought back to myself and my surroundings, I could not draw a line between fiction and reality. The work of these 19th century writers has had such an enduring influence that it is hard for us to imagine a time when we might only venture into nature to study it, a time when travellers would not have considered stopping to admire a view, or anyone thought to take a walk simply for pleasure. <laughs> 